Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. We are doing story mission, uh, campaign mission with the PVE element of Royal Revolt 2 now. So it's just like a building. You have to have a worker to build the tunnel, to dig the tunnel to the next mission. And we got to this crosshair right here where we could use uh, two workers. So you can't pan out that much, but you can slide around. Each of these missions is giving gems for completing the first time and a very, very tiny micro amount of gold, which again, these are really, really simple. So I don't know if it's the fact that I'm a high level king and I get no gold from them or if they just extremely low level amount of gold. We still haven't fought a monster yet. You have to play this mission here, these campaign mode, to actually unlock the monsters. And you have to get three stars on them. So you have to destroy all the towers. It's extremely simple right now. Uh, it's supposed to get hard as it goes further. We'll see. We will see. We'll definitely do a whole bunch of the story mode today. So I believe this is like number four or number five, depending on how you go based on the split. So it looks like it's number four, it says right there. So you do get a lot of gems from these missions. I mean, every time you're getting bare minimum of, I think it was three was the first one, and now we're all the way up to eight gems. So that is really, really cool. So this one over here, we're actually going to get 30,000 in gold for beating this mission. So that one takes 15 minutes to unlock. So now while we're waiting for that one, we can go over here and do this one. This one's giving us 18,000 in gold. No gems this time, surprisingly. Oh, that's, so that's the bonus gold. So it looks like you get a base really, really crappy gold like the 300 gold, and then there's the one-time reward for gems or for um, gold. And so most of them have been gems, and now this one is actually giving us 18,000 in gold, which is still very, very crappy, very low amount of gold. Uh, but again, this is a very simple, simple base, so we'll see how things go. Unfortunately, to play the new story mode, you are required to have food, so you're going to be spending a lot of food and they did take out the Facebook food feature. So you gotta make sure your farms are upgraded, you're working on those guys. I was kinda hoping that in the um, story mode here I don't know what you should call it, actually, because there's not really a story. It's a cave, a tunnel. It's a big dungeon. Um, well, that's nice. So it looks like we got two of them unlocked. So we can use our workers to unlock that one. And then we can use our workers to unlock that one up there. So you can go back and do the missions that you completed, and you can still get the base gold. So hopefully later on it gets higher down here. We're going to go ahead and finish that. And yes, the bonus one-time feature is the 30,000 gold. The base loot is 342, so it's still a very, very small amount. Uh, we haven't unlocked any monsters yet, and this looks to be around mission number uh, five or so, six maybe, somewhere around there. So it will take some time to unlock the new units. And you do want to get them as soon as possible so you can start upgrading them, because you're going to get them, at, I'm assuming, at level one, like everything else, and you're going to have to start upgrading them to make them more powerful. So right when you get them, they probably will be under underpowered because they'll be level 1 compared to all your other troops that are going to be level 
6, level 7, level 8, level 10. So if at first, initially, you don't like the monsters, they're not very strong, uh, you know, level them up a little bit to see how good they actually are once they get, you know, to a decent power level. Go ahead. We'll just keep making our way down here. And again, the loot is still very, very bad. 356. Uh, it's getting better. If I do remember correctly, I think they said there's 70 uh, of these missions. So there is a good chunk of missions. I really do like the castle gate though. You can see here it's got a, a great skull on it. With the mintic eyes. Definitely really, really cool. So part of the reason, um, you know, I think that it's alright to actually just speed things up is we're doing it for video purposes um, and then you're also getting gems when you actually attack so we can actually go to three so here's a special item so that looks like a hero item over there And then now we're going to go get the ogre. Where did the ogre go? We just unlocked a little thing that said, like, the ogre. Or had a little ogre picture. It's right there. Yep, so level one ogre. So we're definitely going to go do this. Check out the ogre. So this should be like a mini boss fight. And this is where we get the level 1 ogre, and we can add him to our ranks. You can see here's a giant ogre right here. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see what the ogre actually does in battle for us. I'm going to see uh, you know, how he upgrades. I'm really, really looking forward to this right here. So we're going to go back and take a look at the Ogre now. Now that we have him unlocked, we're going to see how many morale points he takes. And we can actually use him in our own base and test it out. So he costs 12 morale points. And we actually can't upgrade him yet. We have to upgrade... We have to get three crowns in the next dungeon, Behemoth Chamber. So we can't even upgrade him yet, which sucks. We can go ahead and use him, see how he uh, how he acts, how he interacts. So we'll go over here and we'll test our base. 
see how the ogre interacts Bring out a bunch of ogres or a ogre. And he got mowed down real quick right there. So, yeah, see, he just has too little HP right now. I also didn't even really check out his, um, you know, weaknesses. He might be weak to, like, poison or arrows. We'll have to take a look at that. So we'll get out of here. Because he got shot down pretty quickly. And he has 3,000 some odd life, uh, if I remember correctly. You'll notice too where our bread is going down rapidly. The um, campaign missions do take bread. So he has he does blunt damage. He's resistant to blunt and he's weak to piercing. Okay, so that's why. So our blasters are gonna demolish this guy, and that's what happened. Uh, my archers and our blasters demolished him and just ate him alive. So the ogre will definitely not be seeing high level gameplay because of all the our blasters that are around. I'm really excited to get the gargoyle. I think he will be a very, very effective unit because he flies around and doesn't go on the road at all. And he does a massive amount of blunt damage. He's like a kamikaze bomber right there because he's low HP, but he does a ton of damage. So he sacrifices himself to go and attack the towers.